Most aircraft enthusiasts know de Havilland as a designer of aircraft. Few of them appreciate that de Havilland also designed propellers. They built small propellers. They built massive, large propellers. In 1934, on the famous DH-88 Comet Racer, like the green one we have at the museum, they introduced a two-speed propeller. Compared with the old wooden propellers, which had just a single speed, you've now got, like a car with two gears, much more efficient. Then later on, through a contract with Hamilton, they introduced the de Havilland constant speed propeller. In the constant speed propeller, the pitch can be varied and through all sorts of angles. It can be feathered, it can be very fine. And so you've got like a car with a constant speed gearbox, a much more efficient combination of propeller and engine. Just before the Battle of Britain, de Havilland engineers armed with field kits visited the Spitfire and Hurricane squadrons out in the field. Their mission? To replace the existing two-speed propellers with the new constant speed kit that de Havilland had manufactured. It was reckoned that a Spitfire had got an extra 5,000 feet height advantage over the previous configuration. Imagine that, an extra mile of height enables you to get down onto your enemy. And that was a contribution to the Battle of Britain. By the end of the war, de Havilland propellers had built 100,000 propellers that were used in all sorts of aircraft, including the Spitfire, the Hurricane, and of course, in the Mosquito. 100,000 propellers, a massive contribution to the war, and specifically to the Battle of Britain.